Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3 as the Soviet Union. At the end of the last episode, uh, we'd seen some pullback of um, the uh, the Axis forces again because of some uprisings in France. And that's not really going to pull them that far back, but it means if we do declare now, we'll be in a great position to quickly grab some territory um, and hopefully like blitz the heck out of the Balkans, open up the second front against Greece. Uh, against Germany. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about the fact that I want to conquer Greece. Um, I am very disturbed by the fact that the Allies have basically done, like, nothing. Meanwhile, the Axis just continuously get more and more and more powerful over here, uh, which is really scary. I'm not sure that I'm ready to do the war, um, necessarily, but we need to stop the Axis from being able to just run over everything. So, uh, I'm going to specifically declare war. Um, it doesn't matter who I declare war on, but I'm going to declare war for Bulgaria to conquer. So we're going to start with that, and we get to make some decisions for the motherland, giving us 20% more industrial capacity. Additionally, we can go and enact more laws, which will be yeah, service by requirement and total economic mobilization right here. Even more industrial capacity. Nice. Um, do I want to make any adjustments over here? Yes, give me land intel. Give me... Ooh, supply throughput is good. Attack reinforcement chance is really good. What do I have right now? Yeah, I don't need that. That's for sure. Um, I guess we'll have more supply throughput because supplies are always an issue. Uh, I don't care about aircraft carry. Well, I guess I don't care about any of these things. Whatever. It's fine. Um, light aircraft practical decay. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. Counter espionage. Okay, that's going to be fine. Um, it's going to be fine-ish. We'll enact some things. And, right, you've got the defensive stance. No? Yes? Blitzing stance. Yes, good. Okay. So I've made some adjustments. Mostly people are going to be on a lot of blitzing stance. I'm hoping to rip through this territory as quickly as... Why are you pulling back? Right, because you're going to go defend this front. God damn it. Okay, listen. Istanbul HQ, the theater, you're not being automated anymore. Instead, it's going to be the army group. AI. Blitz. Offensive. Offensive. And your goal is to actually mostly take Sophia. Certainly we'll want Athens too. And we'll put that in there too. Okay. Now you should turn around and start moving forward again. God damn that stupid pullback. Maybe we want to adjust some of the theaters actually. Like, um, that's the Istanbul HQ's way over there, which makes some amount of sense. Um, but Stalingrad. Oh, that's all Istanbul? No! All Stalingrad. We'll leave you a tiny speck of stuff over here. But, basically, the second we take any territory over here, that's going to be the only place where we have... You know what? I can just do this. There we go. And hope, and we'll we'll redefine the Istanbul Theater over here as soon as we grab one province. And then we can actually go the, put the uh, AI back on the theater level, and that's going to be okay. Alright, hopefully we've got enough air support over here. I have no idea. Germany has decided destiny. Yes, I'm sure they have. More research possible. Um, let's go and bring that down a bit and get more officers. That's going to be fine. We're still researching our level 44 of all this. Would have been nice to declare then, but I'm going to go for it. Could possibly go wrong. Well, a lot, actually. See, are you guys moving at all? Like, why not? You're, you're specifically on a blitz offensive. So goddamn blitz already. Here, I'm going to remove you from the group and move you forward to here. Which might overexpose you a bit, but... Same thing here. I guess you can't move yet, you're reorganizing. You. Move there. Take me some territory over here. Okay. I mean, there's going to be early advances because <clears throat> the enemy had moved away from their coast, but when is it going to flip back? And i got to hope that the Allies start to do something. But someone's got to start putting some pressure on the Axis, because right now, they've, just, they've been having free reign in the entire world. It's been very bad. Okay. So, here's what I want to do. Yeah, Istanbul HQ had tons of stuff all over the place that was not optimal. This is all going to be you. 
and then Istanbul HQ right over here we're gonna add these provinces to you uh, not that one just that one damn it there so now I can automate you at the upper level and then you've got your planes in here again Go ahead and make a run for... No. Tell you what, just focus on Sophia for now. We'll get Athens later. You good? You good. Go. Alright, now they're moving. Excellent. Because Yugoslavia's got a lot of territory, and it seems like they've got a lot of units. We're going to have to open up more frontage space for them and hit them with more than one theater. Alright, making some advances over here. Good. But I, I still feel like I'm probably fighting the entire might of Germany on my own with no real help from the Allies, which is a little bit annoying. Let's cancel some of these planes. I mean, air support is pretty good, I hear. Oh, um, yeah, this infrastructure doesn't actually use up that much of our industrial capacity. I'm going to move some of it up. It'll really help to move those supplies. Okay, and then otherwise we've got tons of stuff just generally queued up. Um, I'm going to go and get like a, a run of ex a 10 more infantry underway. Just, it can be deployed anywhere. It's all right. Probably the, uh, the Far East will need it more than anything, to be honest. Okay, we've almost linked up our th thing there. Ooh, Black Sea. Ooh, very nice. More supply throughput, more leadership modifier. I like that. Um, let's actually go and bring our research down a bit. Uh, we don't need more espionage. Or maybe we do. Actually, we don't have any free spies yet. Let's wait until we get some free spies and we'll take the espionage down. Um, we don't need to increase threat of Japan anymore. We'll just counter espionage them a bit. No, there's no more research possible. Mexico has joined the Allies. Great. Some partisans over here. And we are making some moves towards Germany. And I don't think they've taken any territory from over here. This is all Polish territory that they own, so that's not too bad. We're making good advances here. Very nice. Istanbul front. Let's, um... How's your HQ territory? Actually looking entirely reasonable. Good. This stuff is being positioned over here. I should have done that beforehand. Okay, leadership, or officer ratio is actually good. Technology, advancing. And yeah, we're actually going to get our level 44, right? Yeah, our 44 infantry relatively soon. Uh, lend lease to the UK. Sure, UK. Are you going to do anything with it? Probably not. Well, I don't even know if we're actually, like, distributing. Yeah, okay, we've got some going in there. Not much, but some. Upgrades are happening, which is good. We do want the upgrades to happen. Reinforcements are good, too. Okay, let's go up to speed 5. <clears throat> There's very little micro for me to do. I mean, if I see an encirclement spot, I might want to detach a tank division and make a move. But overall, things are moving very solidly over here. Bulgaria should fall relatively well. It's the rest that I'm not sure about. But at least Bulgaria should fall. And taking uh, Greece is one of our victory conditions. Okay, enforce conquer in Bulgaria. Great. Uh, what we really want to do is sort of remove all the beachhead from Italy as well, but no, I don't know. That's okay. Okay. Istanbul. That's all you. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Excellent. You're going to move your front over to um, Yugoslavia, which is good. Again, at some point, we're going to have to go and clean this up. Actually, it's really annoying that Greece has respawned. Because then they might go and liberate themselves, which is not good, because they would be allies. Proud of our nervy... Oh, one of our navy got sunk. We gained some descent from that. Oh. Boo. Well, that's okay. Uh, I was going to say, the AI should automatically start to produce more consumer goods to lower descent, which is important. Okay, this event. 
So if we're making, if we're losing to Germany, right? Especially if like, if they had attacked me in their, um, their, their proper operation and um, they were making gains and we we're going to take some of my industrial capacity, we can move the industrial capacity further inland, further east. Uh, and it's actually, this is fine. We, we remove 10 and then we add 10. So we don't actually change anything. Uh, some of these others, I haven't done the math, but I suspect we probably end up losing some production. Um, I'm going to go into sort of um, YOLO-ish mode here. Because the Axis are doing so well overall, we just have to win as is. So I'm just going to take the extra manpower. Plus, right now, we're making gains against Germany instead of vice versa. And if we can finish off the Balkans, I'm very confident that Berlin will fall relatively soon. And right now, see, the southern side of Yugoslavia is exposed right now, which is great. And actually, Istanbul HQ, you're still in Blitzing, but you don't actually have a goal, do you? Oh, no, you do. It's for Split and Athens. Yeah, which is fine. So just try to grab whatever you can. I realize those are two sort of divergent goals, but do your best. Do your best. Meanwhile, how's the East look? Obviously, we are going to be losing ground. That's just going to happen. And actually, some of our troops here might end up getting isolated, um, which would be pretty bad because that would all get shattered. Should I just retreat manually up to here? You have no objection objectives. Like I kind of want to just hmm. You're mostly you're going to be on defense by default. Okay, I'll remove the automation of the eastern theater. I'll tell the western group to be automated again. Then everything else here. Actually, mostly just this stuff. I'm going to tell you to manually move over here. We're going to abandon this bit of land. Which is probably dumb. You know what? It is dumb. It's going to be automated some more. We might get cut off, we might not. We'll just have to hope it works out. Alright. Meanwhile, everything else is sort of fine-ish, I guess. We don't have anything to help take out Afghanistan, which is too bad. How's the tech status? It's where we want it to be. If we can get those 1944 weapons nice and early, I would not complain about that. <clears throat> Overall, our advance is looking pretty good. We've got some troops... Actually, I don't even have to set Athens as a goal, necessarily. I could just send some troops down there. Oh, I like that idea. Istanbul HQ. I'm going to remove your Athens goal. And what I'm going to do is just... Yeah, this dude here. I'm going to detach you from the hierarchy. And just tell you to walk to Athens on your own. Is that all the victory points down here? It is. Large front advances. I mean, armor would also be a good one. I don't think we're going to need... Just in case... Let me go and detach you and send you down to Athens as well. You'll move quickly. I just don't want to liberate Greece. I need to own Greece. Saudi Arabia has joined the Axis. Oh, that's crap. Take out a little bit of uh, Italian land over here. This is what, Albania, right? That they annexed? Something like that. Ooh, we got some Italian troops over here. How's the battle looking? Right now, very poor. Our attack modifiers are on 34%. Their defense is quite a lot higher. Instead, can I get you to move down? No, I can't. Let me get you to cancel your attack then. And we'll attack with a bit more bulk. Well, they're attacking into me, which might be better. Yeah, my defense is slightly higher. And we get some extra troops here. Now, the reinforcement join chance is a little bit lower, but that's still okay. Now, these guys not being part of a hierarchy means they don't get a... Um, uh, they're missing out on a lot of leadership bonuses. But one division of mountain infantry should be fine. There we go. They've abandoned their stuff. Just have to wait for our infantry to be able to attack again. It's going to happen on August 21st, so tomorrow... And we'll have some extra reinforcements there. And we should just be able to power through. 
bit of a stacking bonus, and there's a limit to our front line. We did research um, Spearhead Doctrine, right? Yes, good. Excellent. Leadership, okay, just over 100%, which is fine. And Yugoslav is actually making gains against me. Nice if the Allies would ever do anything at all. Well, let's let's focus on small victories. Athens! Alright, you guys go as is, and then you can go in, add in soon. And we are making forward progress. Our attack modifiers are pretty crap. That terrain. What is the terrain we're attacking into? Um, is it mountains? It's urban. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Urban terrain, pretty rough. Oh, the reserves joined as well. Excellent. Okay, so we'll take Athens. Regime change. Greece is now a puppet of the common term. Excellent. Okay. Let's go and reset you. Uh, you guys can all join your hierarchy somewhere. Some core somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I know the names don't match, but that's fine. <sighs> okay. So, Greece should help cover a little bit of this. All they got is a bit of militia, but that's all right. Meanwhile, goddamn Yugoslavia. They are pretty good at war, apparently. How's my production queue? Okay. Still okay with this infrastructure being used. It doesn't use up that much IC. And yeah, we're mostly just making a bunch of infantry everywhere, which is good. And then actually, oh, that's sort of the end of the queue. We're actually, yeah, producing everything we need. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do a big bulk purchase somewhere. Um, maybe like Kiev, one of the center bits that's going to push directly into Germany. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine with everything. Not the garrisons, but otherwise you can have whatever you want. Planes, trains, automobiles. Lots and lots of infantry. Okay, it looks like we're pushing into the south of Yugoslavia now. And some bits at the north. Okay, that's good. How's our worst looking? Okay, this is a orderly withdrawal over here. No one's being cut off, which is good. That's what I was really worried about. We will continue to lose ground in the east, as expected. But if we can take Berlin, we're going to be fine. And we are, it looks like we are advancing over here. Yep. It'd be nice if we can take this little Italian bit and again, you know, maybe surround some more stuff. We're doing attacks from multiple avenues and angles over here, which is good. Oh, here, not so much. These are actual German troops, yeah? Yeah, oh, they might have uh, been transported over here. Interesting. Greece wants production license. Yes, absolutely. Um, listen, Istanbul HQ. Try to take this... Um, oh, God damn it, I was clicking the wrong thing. Try to take this port. It'd be very nice if we could do that. Actually, Greece, like, it'd be nice to encourage you to do it as well. Which I can do, um, right over here, right? I can say, Greece, why don't you go and focus on taking that? You don't have any real troops. But what the hell? You have one militia. You have your entire order of battle to run your one militia army. Which is mostly just running away right now. Brazil annexed Argentina. Oh, man, and Brazil is Axis. See, the Axis are just running away with the game. I don't know what the Allies have been doing this whole time. And the fact that uh, Germany never did uh, Operation Barbarossa means they've been able to, can't, uh, to focus on the Allies. So hopefully this is slowing them down because they are just crushing the Allies like crazy. There's more Axis countries, I think, than I'm used to seeing. Although that might be because I'm bad at the political stuff, which I certainly am. Um, large front, we'll go and cancel that research. Okay, we're still quite far ahead on the infantry and uh, tank tech, but I, I'm, I'm quite happy to make a beeline there. 
Have we... What's our industry thing here? It's 44. I'm going to add it to the bottom of the queue. It's going to be two years ahead of time now, but it's not being actively researched. I think that's going to be fine. Um, oh, the heavier AA guns is probably a good idea, actually. Maybe not critical, but it's there. Okay, are we pushing in against Yugoslavia? Well, yes and no. We're canceling some of their push. Germany has picked up some of our territory over here, and they're canceling some of our push in the north, too. Although they don't have that many troops. Our production is still pretty sick right now. I guess most of our production is actually going to that infrastructure, but it's going to be done soon. Cancel these planes for the Far Eastern Theater. Yeah, I guess I did really queue up a lot of infrastructure. Which I'm gonna, I'd appreciate if it were done, but if I was realizing that I'd be declaring war quite this early, I might have skipped on it. We'll see. Okay, we did uh, cancel out the German push down below here. We've gone and retaken that Greek territory, which is good. And again, it should open up the ability to push into um, Italian territory again. Nationalist China has joined the Axis. God damn it. And you still don't recognize the threat of Japan. <laughs> the difference between their neutrality and highest threat against them is too high. I, maybe I should have done different espionage stuff. I don't know. Um, pull back a little bit on the diplomacy. We've got lots of idle points. Keep some gain, but that's about it. Just basically keep what I have in the bank over there. Uh, officer count is good, although it is shrinking a bit. So let me go ahead and bring that up a bit. Make sure that we stay above 100%. Some gains, some losses. I mean, Italy's in here, too. Got German command in here, too. Meanwhile, let's make sure the HQ distribution is still looking okay. Yeah, see? Stavka over here. I'll give you more of the coast. Make sure you treat that front properly as your own, which is the way it's supposed to be. I might not want these to be quite as deep. Like, for example, let's take the Bryansk HQ. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, I guess. And put you in responsible for defending some of this rear guard area. Thereby focusing the other two theaters to attack a bit more. There's a relatively small front. It should be able to handle that. Speaking of, these guys were set to defensive stance. Let's actually start to make a real push here. Stavka was attacking. Let's let's blitz all over. Because there's actually like a fair amount of softness up here. Now, having everything on Blitz is not necessarily safe, but let's try to get some movement happening. Specifically here, it looks like I think we would have been fine. Even attacking stance overall might have been better, um, because there are a lot of openings, and being on defensive, the AI is going to be very, very cautious about making any movements. I think if we actually focus some attacks, we'd be able to counter this push. These are all... Um, Slovakian troops. Like, there's not actually that much German stuff. It's all Yugoslavian and Slovakian troops that are defending the German border. I don't know where the German troops are. It's very weird. I mean, it turns out we don't need them. Everyone else is doing perfectly fine, but yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I should do, like, a single big interior HQ. These fronts might literally just be way too large for these guys to manage. I don't know, we're fine, I guess. Oh, you've taken some territory from Norway. Lovely. 
And you're not told to do anything. You're on defensive stance, which is good. Although, why don't you go into sort of a bit more attacking? And we're going to grab some more of these ports here. And then we'll come back to you. Okay, lots of green is good. Those are battles we were winning. Yellow is undecided. Red means bad things are happening to us. Either on the attack or the defense. Um, okay, pushing back some more German troops over here. So I should open this up here. Lost the battle, lost the battle, lost the battle. Yeah. Good, that's what I like to see. Us losing all the things. Making progress there. I mean, maybe I should be running things more manually, but there's so many troops across such a broad area that it just doesn't seem feasible. Alright, at least all that infrastructure is about to finish, which is good because we actually have a fair number of units in poor supply, which is really bad. I mean, a lot of it is probably going to be in the east, almost exclusively in the east. In fact, are my units cut off here? Yes, they are. So they're going to get completely shattered. Well, that happens. Why are these units just lingering around here? I guess you don't have much in the way of troops. That is fair. <laughs> You're sort of stalled out. And are the Allies doing anything? Like, Germans have nothing on this coast. Come on. USA, UK, do something. It'd be very nice. Oh, we got uh, some Polish rebels. See, that's helpful. Way to go, Poland. Thank you. That's actually a great time for you to be uprising right now. Because you'll either pull troops away from the front, or literally Germany will just start to lose some proper territory. But I think it's going to help pull some troops back. Okay, we're continuing to make some advances against Hungary. Well, Hungary's got a lot of troops. I will say that. Inch by inch, man, we are, like, every piece of land is a brutal slugfest to try to gain. And it is going back and forth quite a bit. Alright, bear. A bunch of infrastructures have finished over here. So let me cancel the next level. <clears throat> Clearly, uh maybe overestimated how much I was building. I still like the idea of the big giant road to the east. And I'm happy we did get the extra level of tech, but... Yeah, let's do this. Do, do, do. Wow, there was a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, good, so we'll start doing that. In fact, uh, we could potentially update our um, production even higher than this. Bransk. Let me get some more stuff in here. Um, I think we'll, we'll avoid the naval stuff. Like the marines. And that. We're not looking to make those kind of attacks yet. Okay, so we've got a massive production queue. And it is focused in one area, but that's okay. Are we, are we being pushed back here again? Mm, very much. And in the north? Yep. More Polish rebels. Did the other ones get put down? Yeah, I think they did. So I think these just respawned right in. And we are definitely being pushed back. To regular attacking stance, then. As opposed to a blitz. Uh, 
Did it actually change? Yes, okay. Oh, there we go. Alright, I mean, we're getting some really valuable upgrades. Really valuable upgrades. 1946 infantry. Hopefully they'll get upgraded soon. Uh, we are making advances against Yugoslavia again. Alright, maybe the blitzing stance was just a little too, um... A little too aggro. We're taking too many risks. Either that, or the resupplying from the uh, higher infrastructure is actually paying huge dividends for us. Ooh... We are attacking to here? No, not yet. People are retreating there, and most of our guys have just moved, so they can't yet, but it would have been nice to get a bit of a surround. The war is not lost yet. In fact, we might we might not be doing too badly, to be honest. There's a lot of back and forth. This is a serious, serious battle. Every inch of the way, we are losing tons of people. Is there a way to find out casualties? There probably is. But I don't know what it is. Alright, at least the strategic bombing, as far as I can tell, is... Alright, air, Germany... Oh, our losses. Damage done to us has cost us about 20,000 IC this month. Wow. Okay, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.